hi everyone here is our math problem for today this is about infinite product find the capital pi of n cube minus one over n cube plus one n is from two to infinity now what is the meaning of this capital pi symbol this capital pi symbol is our product operator similar to the sigma notation for addition so to understand this problem let's compare it with this sigma notation when we have sigma i squared i is from one to five this means we are are going to add the sequence of numbers following this expression i squared and we iterate from i equals 1 to 5. So we have 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared plus 4 squared up to 5 squared. Now when we have the capital pi i squared i is from 1 to 5 this means we multiply i squared times 2 squared times 3 squared times 4 squared up to 5 squared. So this capital pi notation is for product of sequence of numbers. So going back to our problem, how do you find this infinite product? In order to have an idea of this problem, let's take n equals 2. If n equals 2, this becomes 2 cubed minus 1 over 2 cubed plus 1. When n equals 3, that is 3 cubed minus 1 over 3 cubed plus 1, but take note that we are getting the product. So if n equals 4, we have this expression and we are multiplying here. If n equals 5, it's like this. And we are going to continue this until n approaches infinity. Therefore, this problem is a limit problem. We would like to find what is the limit of this sequence of products as n approaches infinity. You can pause the video and see if you can solve this interesting calculus problem. Now let's solve this problem together and I would like to do this by hand so that you can follow my thought process. Let's begin by noting that n cubed minus 1 is a difference of 2 cubes which we can factor out. So let's factor out n cubed minus 1. So we write pi from n equals 2 up to infinity. The factored form of n cubed minus 1 is n minus 1 times n squared plus n plus 1. And the factored form of this sum of two cubes is n plus 1 times n squared, this time minus n plus 1. Let's take some values for n. Here n iterates from 2 up to infinity. So if you let n be equal to 2, this first factor here in the numerator becomes 1. If n equals 3, this becomes 3 minus 1, which is equal to 2. If n equals 4, this is 4 minus 1, so that is 3. And this pattern repeats until n minus 1. Now, for the second factor, if n equals 2, this becomes 2 squared, which is 4, plus 2, which is 6, plus 1, that is 7. If n equals 3, this is 3 squared, 9, plus 3 is 12, plus 1 is 13. If n equals 4, 4 squared is 16, plus 4 is 20, plus 1 is 21. And this pattern repeats until n squared plus n plus 1. That's for the numerator. Now for the denominator, if n equals 2, this becomes 2 plus 1, which is 3. If n is 3, this becomes 4. And again, the pattern continues until the quantity n plus 1. That is the first factor in the denominator. Now for the second factor, if n equals 2, this becomes 2 squared, which is 4, minus 2, plus 1, that is 3. If n is 3, this becomes 3 squared is 9, minus 3 plus 1, that is 7. n is 4, 4 squared is 16, minus 4 plus 1, that is 13. And continue until n squared minus n plus 1. And we would like to get the limit as n approaches infinity. So this is so far our expansion of this infinite product problem. Now let's see what we can do here. Notice that this 3 and this 3 are the same, so we can cancel this out. There is a 4 here, so we can cancel out also this 4. And there is also 5 here in the numerator, so we can cancel out also the 5. Now before n plus 1, there should be an n here. And before n, there should be an n minus 1 here. Notice that this n minus 1 and this n minus 1 also cancelled out. So what's left here is n times the quantity n plus 1. Now here, this 7 and 7 cancelled out. The same with 13 and 13. 
there must be a 21 here also. Now, what are we going to do here? Notice that this n squared minus n plus 1 is just the same as n minus 1 squared plus n minus 1 plus 1, which is the term prior to this last term. Why? Notice that if I expand n minus 1 squared plus the quantity n minus 1 plus 1, this is expanded as n squared minus 2n plus 1, and we copy plus n minus 1, and we copy this plus 1. So we have n squared minus 2n plus n is minus n. Then this 1 and this minus 1 cancelled out, so we have plus 1 here, which is exactly n squared minus n plus 1. And therefore, prior to this last term, we have this term here, which is exactly this one, and that two can be cancelled out. So what's left here is this three, this n times n plus one, and in the numerator, we have one times two, and this last term, the quantity n squared plus n plus one. So let's remove this scratch work. We now have the limit as n approaches infinity of 1 times 2 is 2, and we have the quantity n squared plus n plus 1, and in the denominator, we have this 3 times n times n plus 1. And this one is equal to the limit as n approaches infinity of, we can distribute the 2 to get 2n squared plus 2n plus 2 over, we can distribute 3n to n plus 1 to get 3n squared 3n times 1 is positive 3n. And notice that this is a rational expression where the numerator and the denominator both have the same degree. And when we find the limit of a rational expression whose numerator and denominator are of the same degree, the value of the limit as n approaches infinity is just influenced by the two leading terms. Because as n becomes bigger and bigger, these other expressions here are insignificant because this 2n squared becomes extremely big, and this 3n squared also becomes extremely big. And so the limit of this is just equal to this 2 thirds. And therefore, the value of this infinite product is equal to 2 thirds. And this problem is now solved. And see the beauty of mathematics. Things like infinite product that we cannot fathom can be computed if its value converges. And in this particular problem, the product converge to 2 over 3. So the next time you can see this notation, capital Pi, do not think that its value is equivalent to approximately 3.1416. The capital Pi here is the product operator in the same way that the sigma notation is for summation operator. So thank you very much. This is Lando Assistant, and I look forward to see you in our next video.